Hey everybody, it's Michael from theloftestparty.com. Did you hear? Did you hear? Nancy Pelosi just got busted. Oh, they're calling it Salon Gate. Now this is great news for me because it gives me a chance to dust off my Nancy Pelosi impression. And everything's funnier to me when I say it like Nancy Pelosi. You just make your eyeballs real wide and you kind of shake your head. And spit when you talk. You can say all kinds of crazy things and people will laugh. You can say things like, we have to pass the bill to know what's in it. And I'm a deeply religious person and I pray for the president every night. Okay, here's what happened. The salons in San Francisco were closed. You're not allowed to get a haircut inside. You got to stay outside. You're allowed to get your haircut on the sidewalk. And that's hilarious because we've all heard about the sidewalks in San Francisco. I'm sure Nancy just thought that was a dreamy idea. She's like, ooh, really? Get my hair cut out here? There's lots of dog do. There's lots of human poo and pee and needles and garbage. I don't want to get hep. I just want to get my hair did. So they he snuck her inside. She went inside, she got her hair did, and she wasn't wearing a mask, you guys. No mask, so who knows? She was just in there having a good time talking and spitting, and vodka was going everywhere, and there was gingivitis germs, and some kind of Sensodyne toothpaste remnants, and, and, and lies about having read the constitution i love the constitution Ooh, that was a crazy one okay so she's busted she think they got her on videotape doing this you're not allowed to do this but you know what i guess the rules don't apply to her so when faced with this kind of evidence and this scandal she doesn't apologize she doesn't say it's a misunderstanding she goes on offense this chick has been around the block. She knows how the game is played. She, go, she goes on the attack. She goes, I was set up. I, I was set up. She, there was like a statement. There was a statement that's too, it's too great not to talk about. She goes, um, I take responsibility for trust. They always say that. They always say they take responsibility. And then the next sentence they stop taking responsibility it's it's in the same breath i take responsibility for for trusting the word of a neighborhood salon that i've been to many times many times i've been there and then i i i was set up i was set up and i take responsibility for falling for a setup i, I think this salon owes me an apology for setting me up so there's like two responsibilities and a whole bunch of setups. That's what I don't understand. How is this a setup? How are you set up by a hair salon? Is it like De Niro in Goodfellas? Are you, are you walking down the street, just innocent Nancy Pelosi? And then De Niro shows up, he's like, hey, hey, hey Nancy, hey, you gotta get your hair did. You know, come on back here. Come on, come on back. I got some. I got some, I got a nice hair salon back there. I don't know, it seems kind of dangerous back there. Isn't that against the law? No, come on, come on. We're gonna do your hair, we're gonna make it not nice. We're gonna put a leave-in conditioner, it's gonna be nice. We'll give you a little blow-up, give you a little touch-up. You'll, you'll, you'll love it. I don't know, I don't wanna break the law, cause I'm a law-abiding citizen. That's just it. She doesn't care about the law. She is the political elite. I'm sick of them. I'm sick of the media elite. I'm sick of the political elite. All these people, and they're passing these laws, and they're enforcing these laws, and they don't apply to people like Nancy Pelosi. We're not allowed to work. We're not allowed to get our hair cut. We're not allowed to earn a living. But old Nancy Pelosi, she's in there doing whatever she wants. It disgusts me. It's like these politicians who are like, we're going to defund the police. We got to do something about the police. And then we're all supposed to live without them. But yet, somehow, magically, mystically, the police are always on the politician's block. Or they got private security defending their house. Hey, what about us? What about the little people? Yeah, these decisions affect us too. Is Nancy going to get any for real, real trouble? Is there going to be any real trouble for this? 
Probably not. But this is the kind of thing we got to point out. We got to make fun of it. And we've got to just celebrate the hypocrisy and spread the word. This is total and complete BS. If you're going to pass a law that affects everybody, it better affect you too, Nancy. We can't handle it. And you know what? Um, I just think it, it's disgusting. And you should have to get your hair cut out on the sidewalk with everybody else. Hope you don't get hep C.